Hello students, today we will discuss how to give the range name to the columns of your cell. Likewise, if you are having the column A and you want to rename this column, it is B and you want to rename this column, we will do in this lecture. Firstly, we have some rules to, uh, to name to rename the cells, the first rule is the range name must begin with the letter of the alphabet, not a number. For example, you can't name any cell as 01 profit, you can do it as profit 01. It, they should not start with a number. The second rule is the range names can't contain spaces. They are a sequence of alphabets. The other rule is the range names cannot correspond to cell coordinates in the worksheet. Like you can't do, uh, you can't name it as A underscore company or B underscore month. You can't do it as. So uh, let us see the procedure how to rename a cell. Firstly, you have to select the single cell or range of cells that you want to name. If you want to rename this, you just select, go to the name box, press enter. You can write here the name of your column. Now you press enter. It is invalid because we have put the space in this. So let's try it with Now, whenever you select your column A the name box will show company list. When you select B, it is the B column, it is C column, D column, but whenever you select your this column, it is named as company list. So in this way, you can rename your desired cell or full column. Secondly, we can see if you want to add columns B and C, then there is no need to add B plus C. You have to add it as equal to B2 plus C2. You just press enter and you will get the value. Instead of columns B2 and C2, you can name it as January. Press enter. You can name it as February, you press enter. Look, the names of your columns are changed. Now, instead of writing column B2 or C2, you just have to write is equal to January plus February. So, in this way, you press enter and you have the formulas here. Okay, because all the co it gave you error because it was adding all the columns and all the columns of February and January. That's why. But it is the way how you can find out hours into rate instead of uh, 
C2 or D2. It is a way how to rename your column headings. You can also assign the names to individual cells. If you are having January and here if you want to name it at March and you want to add the readings of March and January then you can do it by look its name is March so this is the way how to rename your column names or cells or the full column now the other way is when you use formulas in your sheet then you use some constant values such as 8.25% uh, 8 x or 9% x or 10% x they are the normal naming constants to create a constant you have to do is you have the ribbons formula tab here it is in this tab you have the option to define name when you click this you just have to name your column like uh, you want to specify the uh, March reading and we just assume that March reading is constant and that is 1000 we just say it as March reading now comment is optional if you want to do any comment or this the other one is the scope in this you have to select this sheet name now it says to the refers to you just have to put 100 here it will show the constant reading and you will press ok Now whenever you will add March into any column or cell, you will get the value plus 100. Like we are giving a formula here. The formula will be is equal to C2 plus D2. When you press enter, so it has added plus uh, it has added 1000 to your current value. It is a way how you select your constant name and how you do the constant value to put in your columns. Thank you.